there's something that there's two things going on. Um, one is that you may there might be something going on at your house that feels upside down. Um, Four of Wands is usually about stability and usually about you know joyousness it's about ceremony sometimes this card depicts marriage where the people are getting married under this um, garland with the rods here that's a very typical image for that and you can see the castle in the background so that has to do with like home is your castle it has to do with festivity celebration of d domestic life that sort of thing there may be a way in which home life feels disrupted or it feels like unsteady on unstable ground because four also is a very stable solid um number it it emphasizes rigidity and boundaries and stability. So there may be some instability regarding your home, Taurus. Um, but it doesn't look like it's affecting you too much. It looks like you're still in a position of feeling um, satisfied. This is a card, Nine of Cups. This is a card of wish fulfillment and a card of satisfaction, a card of feeling full. So the sense that I'm getting is that if you are, say, home hunting and things look topsy-turvy or they look um, undetermined, that somehow you end up getting what it is that you want. This is wish fulfillment. This is satisfaction. This is, again, feeling full. So even if, even if things are going crazy at your house, like this could be even just like a chaotic, crazy home life, but you're sitting in the middle of it just going, you know what, I'm okay. Regardless, I feel full, I feel satisfied, even though things may look crazy um, in my immediate environment, in having to do with my home life, I still see you as very optimistic. See the yellow in both of these cards? You have a lot of this sunny energy anyway, Taurus. You, even though things, your house may look upside down, it may be topsy-turvy, um, there's still a certain way in which you are coming out of it sitting pretty. You're still emotionally fulfilled. And maybe it's your emotional fulfillment that is causing you to not really get wrapped up in that chaos in whatever's, whatever's going on around you regarding your home. Um, I also see that there is change happening, and it may be change that you're resisting, Taurus. Uh, it could also be change regarding the home, since both of, both of these are in reverse. But I also see you sitting in the middle of it, um, and kind of being at peace or being okay. It's almost like you're at the, at the eye of the storm, and the storm may be going on around you, but you're here like, no, I'm content. I've got my cups all in a row here. This is emotional fulfillment. So whatever you're doing to keep yourself in this position, Taurus, keep doing it. Um, there is some resistance that I would like to point out to you in terms of... Uh, this is the Wheel of Time. This is Wheel of Fortune. And this is, thing, this is change. This is time changing things. You can see the hand here of the divine that is just changing the seasons. And this is saying whoever's on the top will be on the bottom. Whoever's on the bottom will be on the top. This is just the natural evolution of the seasons. And when it's in reverse, there's some sort of resistance to change or resistance um, to things <clears throat> disrupting the current uh, system or the current order. It could also just be fear or delay, like things are changing and you don't want them to change, or you're fearful about what's coming up next, therefore you're resisting change. See if you can open up to the idea, Taurus, that this might be okay. That whatever, you know, time naturally changes things. It's a part of nature. It's, um, it's not something to be feared. If you can embrace that instead of resisting against it, if you're noticing trepidation, anxiety, resistance, any of that. Um, see if you can embrace what it might mean for change to be good. Because I do see that you may be in a, in a point of evaluating what's what's going on, where, where your life's at, where you're going, what's come before. Seven of Coins is, a, is depicting the farmer who stands in his in his garden, in his yard, amongst his crops, and evaluates, okay, 
what what sort of result am I getting from the actions that I've been taking? Is this what is this the harvest that I want to be reaping? So are the seeds that I'm sowing yielding the results that I want? This is usually a card of patience. It's a card of taking a moment to <clears throat> excuse me, reflect and consider and reassess like is this the direction I want to keep going in? Do I want to keep sowing these this type of crop and keep um, harvesting this sort of yield? Or do I want to switch things out? Do I want to do something different? Do I want to go in a different direction? That could be part of what this resistance is, is that knowing that things are changing, but maybe saying, no, I want things to be the same. I want to keep harvesting the same thing. Um, this is a card of patience. So with this coming in the upright position, it, set, it does show that you do have a good sort of judicious eye right now in terms of assessing things. It can be a time of um, reassessment and changing directions. So it could just be saying that even though there may be resistance or fear or hesitancy, delay in things changing, you might be planning for the future or looking to go in a di different direction, saying, I want more of the same, but I may need to adjust it, um, reassess and change directions a little bit to keep getting the same type of yield or different different yield. So whatever, whatever it is that you're satisfied with right now, Taurus, see if you can embrace whatever changes are happening and adapt. That's a word that I'm going to use for you with these two coming up. See if you can adapt whatever it is you're doing that's keeping you in this good state to your changing circumstances and planning for the future so that you keep getting the same yields, the same results that are making you happy, but perhaps in a different set of circumstances. So that's what Wheel and Seven of Coins says to me. Is it, it's, it's actually an opportunity right now to pause and assess before this change comes up because it looks like change is there but it's in delay or it's in resistance or it's in it's being held at bay for some reason um, it's giving you a, a chance to pause and say okay do I like what's happening do I want to continue that do I want to continue the same types of actions that yield these results or do I want to plant something different do I want to it's just a it's just a card of reassessment consideration reflection on on actions and the results that those actions um, are are causing. So then in the middle of the month, it's an interesting thing here with sun and star. Sun in, being in reverse and star being uh, in the upright position. What this can speak to is you, the sun is always a positive card in in the upright position or in reverse. It's a card of vitality. It's a card of like when our creative powers are at their fullest. It's a card of integration. It's a card of um, feeling full, feeling vibrant, feeling joyful. You can see in the sun that, that both the male and female aspects are balanced. It means an acceptance of the self and the other. It means an acceptance of the female side of things and the male side of things. It's integration. It's wholeness. And star is a card that has to do with self-acceptance, has to do with hope has to do with connecting to our own unique place in the universe, in nature. You can see, I always point out in this card that there's the stars, there's the bird, there's the tree, there's the flower, they are, and there's the woman. So there's all, they all have their place in the world and they all have value, intrinsic worth. And that's what star has to do with. It has to do with self-acceptance. It has to do with recognizing your own worth in terms of just being a natural creature of, you know, of the world. Um, so the sense I'm getting is that it may be a time in the middle of the month to focus on self-acceptance and hope and stripping things away that are not necessary in terms of your definitions of yourself. Because you see, she's naked in this card, which which reflects self-acceptance, acceptance of who you are, just as when you were born as a babe. 
before you put on any hats of say mother or father or you know any profession or any definition of yourself this is just you on a very concrete base uh, primal level and it, it's full of beauty it's full of worth it's full of self-acceptance so I get the sense Taurus that that may be a theme for you at the at the middle of the month that is is needing embracing before you can get into this integration before you can really allow the full light of day shining on you this is something as you can see the difference between these two cards is this is a card of night this is a card of day so this is like got soft gentle reflective energy to it this is also a card of reflection so i kind of get the sense that maybe there's some reflection that needs to go on for you before you can come out and be the full br vibrant um, self that you are before you want to share that with the world. This has very Leo qualities, which is all about, you know, expression, creativity, um, being in the spotlight, you know, being out in the world, being vibrant, being joyful. This is more quiet. This is more reflective. So, and this, this is two energy here, which is two of wands, which is personal power. So that's being questioned, it being in reverse. There's some way in which there may be something that's causing you to doubt your own personal power. I sometimes call this card, the world is my oyster, or, you know, I hold the, the world in the palm of my hand. And you can see this is a, du a dual card, a card of two, where there's someone who is supporting you. So with with these being in check right now, with these being in reverse, I'm really getting the sense that you may need to integrate whatever ideas that you're collecting from something that has happened to reflect on your own worth, your own place, your own um, self-acceptance and self-awareness before you can engage in fully being present to relationships, fully being present to your own power, because actually sun and two of wands do speak to your own personal power. This is this is more of a joyful, vital, expressive quality. And this is more of a I want to go climb that mountain. I what are my dreams that I want to accomplish? So this one is sort of more of an active uh energy and this one is just an uh energy of being, of expression of this is like, it's funny how this goes from self-acceptance to self-expression to activity. These are not, these cannot be fully accessed. That's why they're in reverse until this is dealt with. And one of the, I also want to talk about this card is that one of the things that is it's saying here is that sometimes this card is called, um, this card is called, gosh, I'm blanking on what I usually call this, picking up the pieces. So sometimes you have to look at at something that the sun has set on. This is this depicts a battle where someone is picking up the swords that are left on the battlefield and swords represent air which represents mental energy, thoughts, ideas, wisdom, experience. So this is like learning the lessons from a battle reflecting on something it's interesting that it comes right after this card of reflection and reassessment it's sort of like saying well with what has happened how can i pick up these silver linings what is to be learned from this what are the spoils of war here what are the things that are left over on the battlefield that i can take and collect with me what are the pieces to be picked up and I get the sense, Taurus, that it may have to do with letting go of a home or letting go of a home situation. Like, here's, here's, the sun has set on this. And it's sort of like saying, well, what, what can be gained from this? What ideas, what new knowledge, what pieces of wisdom can I collect to bring with me to have a better sense of my own self-knowledge, have a better sense of peace? a better sense of hope, a better sense of connection to myself and to the world. There is something learned here. And it can be sometimes letting go. That's also what this card can depict is like, 
you know, I'm going to let all that stuff go, but what can I learn from it? And therefore connect better with myself, have some acceptance. That's another theme of this card. That's going to be needing to be worked on before you can get into the full expression of your being, the full integration, and then pursuing your plans. It's kind of like both of these are in check until you deal with this. So that's going to be a theme for you for the middle of the month, Taurus. The sense that I'm going to be such a partnership-themed month is that there may be some work to be done on yourself in terms of loving yourself and self-acceptance and learning from old things, maybe old battles, Maybe um, something that the sun has set on and collecting that wisdom and experience to get the, the full um, lesson of this card before you can proceed to this. This is here waiting for you. You know, the sun's sitting here and so is two of wands. And it's great partnership energy. It's great enthusiasm as far as following your dreams, accomplishing things. Um, feeling like feeling you're connected to your personal power, feeling like you can go climb that mountain, the world is my oyster. Um, but this is kind of like a chapter ahead until you you complete this one. So I'm I'm gonna include a link to this star card for you, Taurus, because I th I think that's a very pivotal one for you for this month. Then, towards the end of the month, wow, look at this, two aces, new beginnings here at the end of the month, but I'm going to talk about these first. Um, this card is four of cups, and this card is full. So, what's beautiful about both of these cards is that there's new beginnings available for you if you can manage to break out of your shell, break out of the stability um, the routine, I think, is, is probably the best word to use there. If you'll see, there's a common theme, actually, in all four of these cards, but see this card, this Ace of Cups? This is new beginning, new heart energy. Aces are always new beginnings, and this means new joy, new love. My cup runneth over, feeling emotionally fulfilled. Cups represent emotional energy, which is water energy. And this is actually an echo. This is appearing twice in this bottom row. This is an echo of this this right here. This is this cup, this Ace of Cups. You can see the cup is being handed from the sky to you. And same thing here. It's coming from the sky, from the divine. But you have to look up to see it. The Four of Cups is a card that has to do with feeling like everything's routine, the same old, same old, I'm bored, you know, here's those three cups again. I call it the Rip Van Winkle card because you can see that these plants are growing around the figure and it's sort of like a navel gazing kind of card, like, oh, it's always the same old, same old, I always get in my car, I drive to work, you know, that same thing happens every day, blah, 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 I'm, I'm checked out and I'm aloof and I'm bored. What this card shows is that the world is trying to hand you something. There's new love, new joy, new peace, new creativity, all those emotional fulfillment types of words that is coming at you. It's like waiting for you to take that cup, but you have to look up and out of your, your current I'll say self-occupied -occup state. And because it's a, a four in reverse, just like this one, fours are stability, fours are routine, fours are that, that base. So I'm going to say you're going to have to look up and out of this base. You're going to have to challenge your routine, challenge things that are de rigueur everyday stuff to to even see this new cup and that's where the innocence and the um, openness the faith the trust of this fool card is this is this is a card of like all things are possible fool is the first card of the major arcana and it's the zero card as you'll see so fool is light-hearted he is carefree he can be a little bit silly he doesn't worry about stuff too much he's pretty happy-go-lucky and he's very innocent. That's what this white rose represents. And the white dog, his companion, it's, it's, it's openness. And it's like a new, a new adventure awaits is definitely full of energy. Like where, where shall I go today? It's kind of like vagabond where anything, anything can happen. 
So with this being in reverse, it's a lot to do with this. And again, it's echoing this four in reverse. It's saying, you know, there's something to do with your established four energy, you know, day-to-day -day stuff, house and home, castle. Like this is, this is, um, rigidity. And it can breed complacency. So you need fresh new emotional energy to come in. You need to allow that in. And there, it may be sort of like that's blocked right now because it four is in reverse. It's not being seen. So whenever I see this card come up, I always say, you know, what can you go see that you don't normally see? Can you take a different way home? Can you talk to someone new? Try something out that is outside of your normal experience. And that may allow the room to, for this Ace of Cups to come in. You have to look up and out of your normal experience, whatever that means for you. And then this full energy can come in. You actually, when you unlock this, this will unlock as well. Look at this row you have here, Taurus. You have nine of cups, emotional satisfaction, star, self-acceptance, and hope. And then you have full opening up, which has to do with faith, with trust, with feeling like all things are possible. It's a real card of possibility and openness. These are beautiful cards. It's sort of like you're unfolding during the month but you have to almost challenge your day-to-day -day, you know this is all there is kind of feelings um and then once you do that look at what's waiting for you this is ace of swords which is clarity it's truth it's like an aha moment there's also love here um and and i often call this card truth with a capital t it's a new thought new idea truth it's, it's also, I connect this with the Excalibur, the Sword of Michael, which has to do with truth that cuts cuts you free, you know, from anything that's not true. And then this card, Ace of Cups, has to do with enlightenment, emotional fulfillment, my cup runneth over, it's joy, it's peace. So with this double Ace energy, whenever Aces appear together, they're, they're, they amplify one another. So you've got this wonderful new beginning, your Taurus. See if you can break out of whatever's holding you back in terms of rigidity. See if you can do this unfolding that's happening for you.